My name is Ivan Žalac and I'm analysis engineer at AVL. In this video I'll show you how to set up model for airborne noise calculation within a few mouse clicks. Also you'll see possibilities of interactive 2D and 3D post-processing which AVL Excite Acoustics offers. Once when we open AVL Excite Acoustics we can see the 3D viewer, the message window and also the workflow window. First, we will save our project to define the project directory. Before structural FE mesh import, we should define FEM preferences. By defining FEM preferences, we'll define length unit system of structural FE mesh and unit system of our velocity input data. After we define the FEM preferences, we'll import structural FE mesh. There are several FE solver geometry files supported, like Nestran, Abacus, and ANSYS. AVL Excite Power Unit MEG data recovery geometry file is also supported. We'll select Nastran BDF geometry file. When it's imported on the left, we can see number of nodes and dimensions of bounding box around geometry. Bounding box is tangent to imported structure in each axis direction. If we click on imported geometry, we can turn off its visibility, make it transparent or flip element normals by hitting the activate flipping button. We can also flip element normals by clicking on geometry in 3D viewer. Next step is generation of acoustic mesh. First, we'll use layer tool to create acoustic mesh layers. There is a special equation developed to define optimal layer size in respect to imported geometry. Layers will be created after clicking generate layers button. New layers can be defined before and after currently selected layer. Also, layers can be manually moved to the left or right by clicking on it and holding control button and using arrows in 3D viewer. In the next step we are using cutting tool to create inside and outside part of the acoustic mesh. On the inside part of the acoustic mesh velocities from structural mesh will be mapped. Outside part of the acoustic mesh is used for fluid to fluid coupling. Cutting parameters are used for recognition refinement. Default cutting parameters values give us optimal accuracy in most of the cases. After clicking the Generate Mesh button, Mesh is created. Mesh is created and now both parts of the acoustic mesh are shown. Total number of solids in the acoustic mesh can be seen in mesh information. Structural mesh visibility can be turned off to be able to check acoustic mesh more in detail. If we select outside part of the acoustic mesh, we can see that we have one flying element. It won't influence the results, but it spends CPU resources. We can switch element selection by clicking on it and using switch selection option. Inside part of the acoustic mesh has 172 solids. On both mesh parts we can create selections for boundary conditions or panel contribution investigation. This has to be done in this step before merging the acoustic mesh. For creating these selections under model modifications, appropriate modification type should be selected and elements should be chosen while holding shift button. After all elements are selected, hit the right mouse button and use make selection option. In this example, we'll create constant velocity boundary selection on gearbox back side of the acoustic mesh. Also, panel selections will be created for top, bottom, front, left and right side of the engine. Once when all selections are created, acoustic mesh can be merged and saved for results mapping. Go to Merge Mesh option in element 3 and hit the Merge Solids button. 23 solids are created. For best calculation accuracy, this number should be between 20 and 40. Right click on the Merge Mesh option and save the acoustic mesh to project directory. Fill point mesh can be created for results visualization. Right click on fill point mesh in element 3 and insert the sphere or a plane. Define its dimensions and refinement options. By default it is created in respect to bounding box center. Make it transparent and enable show origin option. Click again on fill point mesh in element 3 and export the fill point mesh. Next step is simulation setup. Go to simulation control and click on standard input option in element 3. There are three options available. Check data option checks if all necessary inputs for simulation are defined. Simulation option is used for running the calculation. Post processing option is used for additional post processing if new microphone position is added without recalculation needed.
In this example, we'll use simulation option. Under simulation setting, we can select the data range to be evaluated under frequency type menu. We can select one of the following options. Frequency range, single frequency as boundary condition or frequency interval. We'll select as boundary condition option. Check if our saved acoustic mesh is defined as a geometry file in acoustic mesh menu. In fluid property menu, we define property of fluid in which airborne noise is calculated. We can use temperature or density over speed of sound option. In response point definition menu, you show microphones to show six standard microphone positions. These microphone positions are created one meter from the center of each bounding box surface center. If user-defined microphone is created, it will be placed in respect to origin of the imported structural FE mesh. Click on Boundary Conditions option in element 3 and select Constant Velocity Boundary Condition. Click on Add Row and Created Boundary selection will be added. Define values or import them from a file. In Multilocal Velocity menu use Dynamic Search Radius for MLV search strategy. Define geometry file from project directory and its appropriate result file. Right click on geometry file and select assign parameter option to add new parameter. On the same way create parameter for result file. Select results control to define reference values for sound pressure. ISO values or user defined values can be used. User defined frequency band for results evaluation can be defined the same as GIDAS file parameter definition. Select impress for output format. For 2D results select create 2D results option. Enable pressure dependent results and average overall level and third octave octave band results. Enable velocity dependent results and output power at physical edge and output power at field point mesh. Select field point mesh file for geometry file. For 3D results select create 3D results. Make sure that field point mesh is defined for geometry file. Enable pressure dependent results for third octave and octave band results. Enable velocity dependent results. Select create audio results under audio results option in element 3. Define file name or assign new parameter for audio file name. Define audio quality properties and file duration. Go to parameters and select cases. Set case name for current case 3000 RPM. Add parameters for 3000 RPM case by clicking on add or remove parameters or scenario sets. Use add all option. Define audio file name for current case. Create two new speed cases for 3500 and 4000 RPMs. Define correct parameter values for new speed cases. Under Simulations tab, select Advanced option to select Simulation Control settings. Define number of CPUs per case, number of parallel jobs and other settings. Click OK to close the Advanced Settings window and click on Run Cases button. Select all speed cases and hit the Run button. Two D results can be post-processed by using already created templates. Click on Create from Template button and insert EAC Report 001 template. All available results for selected speed will be inserted for all microphone positions. After simulation is finished, click on Results tab. Under Results Browser from the right side of the Impress window select 4000 RPM case. Select 3D Results MLV Part 1 to import Structure Velocity results to 3D Viewer. Right click on Normal Level Velocity and use option Open Selection in 3D Viewer. Select Colored Surface option. Select Narrow Band Pressure DB and right click on it. Use option Open Selection in 3D Viewer. Select color surface option. Hit the zoom home button to adjust the sphere size to the window. Click on sphere and use the add clip plane button to create the cut. Select 2D results narrow band. Open microphone position 1 and click on sound pressure level by right click. Use option open selection in line chart. Select panels 1 to 5 and use the right click option to open the selection in fringe plot. Hit play stop button to track all imported results at the same time.